I understand that we're going to be with members of the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Coast Guard. I have no idea what's to come. Be open-minded and be ready to go. I'm anticipating the Marines to put us through the paces, but I'm here looking to learn and looking to get to know some members of the military. I want to overcome any fears that I might have of firing a weapon or being in, a, in an aircraft or in a vehicle that I'm not used to. I'm not a big fan of physical danger, but I understand that's part of the week and we're going to do everything in a very safe way. What I hope to take away from this experience is a better understanding for our military. It's one thing to hear about it and to recognize and thank people for their service, but I think this week I'm actually going to understand what that means. I don't know the inside scoop, and so being able to go in and see what are all of the many jobs within the field, what are those skills, is, is the takeaway that I would love to have to go back and embed that in a lot of our curriculum. We talk a lot about efficiencies and organizational skills and leadership skills for our young people. But at the end of the day, we want to teach them what does that mean to be an outstanding leader. I just read the itinerary this afternoon, and it's overwhelming and exciting. That would be extreme physical exertion on my part. I anticipate integrating on some level with each branch of the service. My father was a Marine and I chose to serve in a different way, but I've always had a very robust respect for our military and the opportunity to be more familiar with the men and women who defend us overseas and help us domestically when we have crisis situations. And like my own profession, so much of what people think they know about these professions comes from film and television, and that's almost always wrong. I'm, I'm enthusiastic about the machinery, the weaponry, all of those things, but what I hope to bring back is a greater flavor and a greater depth of understanding of our military men and women and the challenges they experience in service. To be honest, I came into the week with expectations that I'd encounter choreographed presentations, you know, march out, you know, the right faces to say the right things. And this week was anything but that. Beginning with direct personal conversation with Secretary of Defense General Mattis to direct access to recruits coming off the bus at Paris Island, getting thrown right into the, into the fire of Marine basic training. What I saw on media, film, my own life, it never did it justice. So this week was about access and it was about enlightenment. So when I go back home, you know, I, I see what is happening with our military nationwide and what it's doing around the world and how my local policing is a microcosm of that. We rode on a Chinook, we shot guns, I sh learned how to shoot a sniper rifle, I got yelled at by a drill sergeant. Um, I was in a rollover Humvee exercise. At the end of the day, more than anything else, I got a full appreciation, love, and admiration for the men and women who serve this country. And what was great for me was meeting the young people. Um, they are highly skilled at a very young age. They are quality decision makers at a very young age. And it was just inspiring to see that these young people are leading us in military service. Just as I has the opportunity to, to reach out and have access and talk to and listen to members of the military and hear what they do and begin let the creative juice flow on how I can do more as a civilian. I want to take that same approach with local law enforcement. Just as I came in here and had preconceptions about military, I'm looking forward to doing what every civilian I think should do and that's to get accurate information to talk to the people. Like me, there's people out there who want to serve and there's a service for everybody who wants to serve. It's about what do you bring to that particular fight?